determination to uproot all forms of corruption. The victories of the Syrian army continue as security and stability are restored to Tel Aran in Aleppo countryside. Security forces captured a terrorist hideout full of explosives and C4 in Damascus quarter. And a road plan has been signed by both Iran and the International Agency of Atomic Energy concerning Iran's nuclear firing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is News in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. The Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov addressed the meeting of the Foreign Ministers of Asia and Europe held in Delhi, calling for the consolidation of cooperation among them in order to find political and diplomatic solutions for the cases of dispute. He also called for protecting the opportunity to settle the situation concerning Iran's political file. Lavrov asserted that the priorities included solving the crisis in Syria and finding a solution for the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. This would normalize the situation in the Middle East and overcome the negative consequences of any intervention in the region, in addition to confronting the dangers of terrorism. Hilal Wahid Hilal, Assistant Regional Secretary of the Ba'ath Party, stressed the importance of popular and civil contacts between Syria and Jordan while receiving a delegation from the Jordanian Committee of Medical Support for Syria. He briefed them on recent developments in the war waged by the Syrian people against terrorism. The delegation detailed the activist activities of the Jordanian Committee in solidarity with the Syrian people in their defense of their homeland against the unprecedented terrorist war. The People's Assembly strongly condemned the murder of Mohjim Ibrahim al sahu member of the assembly as it was becoming from their resort to Damascus. The assembly asserted that this crime would never frighten our people. On the contrary, it would increase our determination to continue to shoulder our responsibilities to protect Syria and to defeat the terrorist assassins. Terrorists belonging to so-called Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant linked to Al-Qaeda murdered the late Mr. Asahu along with the highway of Deir Zor Palmyra a few days after they kidnapped him. In cooperation with locals, the authorities yesterday seized a terrorist hideout full of weapons, ammunition, explosive devices and C4 in Damascus. The security forces stormed into the hideout and seized all of its contents, which included C4 electric and wireless devices used in making explosive devices, pistols, ammunition, silencers, M16 rifles and different kinds of explosive devices, including advanced ones the terrorists made a one meter wide and a four meter high corridor between two walls and hided the weapons and equipment in it. Head of the building committee said that the building in which the hideout was discovered included 72 houses and about 300 persons are living in it. Syrian Arab Army units imposed full control over the area of Brigade 80 in Aleppo countryside and also on the town of Derbil in Bunaitra countryside. Units of the Syrian Arab Army imposed full control on the area of Brigade 80, the FM station, the fuel station and the Fallaha factories in the Aleppo countryside after defeating the last groups of terrorists there. Large amounts of weapons and ammunition were destroyed and hundreds of explosive devices were defused. The army completely controlled the town of Talarn in the southeastern countryside. Most of the defeated terrorists in that area were non-Syrians. 
The army destroyed 40 vehicles full of weapons and dozens of trenches, tunnels and caves where the terrorists were entrenched. The army also confiscated factories to make explosive devices and two rocket launchers in addition to various machine guns. In Kunaitara countryside units of the Syrian Arab Army, the forces of the national defense in cooperation with the people imposed full control on the town of Darbel at the foothills of Sheikh Mountain. In Damascus countryside, Syrian army units eliminated entire terrorist groups near the towns of Al Qasimiya and Dir Salman. More about that in the following. In Damascus countryside, Syrian Arab army units eliminated entire terrorist groups near the towns of Al Qasimiya and Dir Salman, in addition to destroying a hideout used by terrorist groups along with everyone inside it and three cars transporting weapons and ammunition to terrorists in the village of Tel Hazrama in Al Nashabiya area. Other units clashed with terrorist groups on the outskirts of El Spene town, eliminating a number of them, while the unit eliminated all members of a terrorist group who had barricaded themselves in Bayada factory between El Spene and El Hajar El Aswad. A number of terrorists were killed and their equipment was destroyed in the farms of Zabdin town and between the towns of Misraba and Madiara. An army unit eliminated terrorists near Zamalka in the direction of the southern ring road, while other units eliminated six terrorists in Jobar area and three in Al-Qabun area. Another unit clashed with terrorists southeast of Sayyida Sukaina Shrine in Dareya town, eliminating a number of them, while a second unit destroyed terrorist hideouts in Yabrud area. In Homs countryside, a Syrian Arab army unit destroyed a number of terrorist boats loaded with weapons and ammunition and seized five others in El Restan Lake. Terrorists were attempting to transport weapons and ammunition to support the armed terrorist groups in El Restan and El Hula, who suffered heavy losses by the Syrian Arab army. The Commission of the Organization of Prohibiting Chemical Weapons and the United Nations Delegation of Experts Assigned to Do Away with the Chemical Weapons in Syria continued their third stage of its work. This work includes the inspection of the stores of these weapons. The Commission co uh, coordinator asserted that the Syrian government was cooperating in this field. The Commission ha was inspected 22 out of 23 positions of these weapons. Head of Iran's Atomic Energy Organization, Ali Akbar Saleh, he said that his country reached an agreement with the International Atomic Energy Agency on a road map with the aim of answering the questions over Iran's nuclear program. During a press conference at the conclusion of his meeting with the Director General of the IAEA, Yoko Amano, in Tehran, and after the signing of a joint communique, Saleh announced that Iran has agreed with the IAEA, would expect the heavy water station of Iraq and also the Kaljin uranium mine. For his part, Amano said that the negotiations were fruitful and were part of the new round of negotiations taking place between Iran and the IAEA, pointing out that the talks between Iran and the group of 5 plus 1 in Geneva, which ended without reaching an agreement, are different and separate from the negotiations between the IAEA and Tehran over its nuclear program. Under the patronage of the Ministry of Culture, the final gathering of wood sculptures was held. The activities of the wood sculpture gathering were launched six months ago, attracting participants from several Arab and European countries, including Netherlands and Ukraine, in addition to well-known Syrian artists whose fame has reached the whole world. Through their works, the participants showcased their wood sculptures, asserting that this kind of art is one of the most traditional oriental arts. The artist Mustafa Ali had prominent participation in outstanding works that made his name well known to the whole world.
With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, www.syriaonline.sy. Now to the latest in business and market news with Vani Konjian, but after a short break.